While I signed circumnavigation letters for the crew, we proceeded toward a rendezvous point off Cadiz, Spain, where the destroyer John W. Weeks was to meet us to deliver the bronze plaque we had designed and ordered in honor of Magellan. Our course was set for Santa Cruz and the Canary Islands. Although very different in those days, this was the last place in the old world seen by Magellan before his circumnavigation. The view through the periscope was imposing. We could pick out individual buildings, oil tanks, even cars moving on the roads. On May 2, we rendezvoused off Cadiz, Spain with the John W. Weeks. Once again, we did not surface, but brought only our conning tower hatch clear of the sea, just as we had done for our sick shipmate nearly two months before. How complicated that had been is obvious from this rather dramatic transfer of the Magellan plaque. Triton submerged deck. Two men were tossed head over heels into the brine. Since we were not moving, they scrambled back wet, but unhurt. The plaque had been designed prior to our voyage by our Lieutenant Tom Tham. There had not been time to finish the casting before we left home, so the Navy brought it to us. Later, it would be delivered to the Magellan statue in Spain. There remained only a short dash across the Atlantic. A mere 3,000 miles.